am going to review one of the most hilarious, most funny laugh out loud books I have ever read. And it is Wallbanger by Alice Clayton. <laughs> the, I'm not going to be able to do this video without it laughing at myself. Um, this book takes place in San Francisco, which is a relief because all the books I've read lately have been taking place in New York. And I've always wanted to go to San Fran, so it's a win-win. The main characters in this book are Caroline and Simon. Um, Caroline, just the night, she just moved into her new, huge, nice apartment. Um, she is awoken by some very strange noises coming from her bedroom wall. The wall that is adjacent over from her bedroom, from her bed. And she cannot figure out what this noise is. And it is none other than Simon the Wallbanger. Uh, that is his nocturnal activities. He likes to have random women over to his apartment and basically have sex with them and pound on Caroline's wall. And the, th the story, and it goes from, he, she doesn't want anything to do with him, but He's intrigued with her. They, you end up basically thinking that Simon's really a jerk and a deuce. You actually don't like him until the middle of the book. And they're basically, she's basically like, you know what? Stop pounding on my door. I have a job. I can't take this every single night. You need to stop basically fucking like rabbits every single night. And she has two best friends, Sophia and Mia, who are her best friend, she tells them everything, um, they are over one night, and having, I think it's a sleepover, just a girl's night, they were, been drinking and stuff like that, and they hear the wall banging again, and he, she's like, oh, now you see what I've been going through every single night, that this guy, my neighbor next door, has been basically fucking all these women, and it goes for, she works at an average, as an interior designer and her boss, I don't know if I'm giving off too many spoilers because I don't want to close the book, she knows si Simon from, a pa from her past and something happens between all three of them that is, oh now I understand why, it's kind of a matchmaking, she's kind of responsible for matchmaking and you know, she has her, um, Caroline has Simon over for dinner, you know, and let me just say, there's one other character in this book that is hilarious. It is her cat, oh my god, I can't remember the name, I can't remember the name, but yeah, there's a cat in this book, I don't know if you can see, it's right there, that is just as hilarious. Um, uh, there is a, there, it's not really a love story, but there is a relationship that forms in this book, and it is just a laugh out loud, I don't know if that was a good synopsis, it is laugh out loud hilarious, this book. I actually read this in November on my Caribbean cruise, and I was a bit hesitant to bring up this book because just the name and the cover, you know, people would, you know... I was say or give me bad looks, but they didn't. And um, this, I, I, ha I think I'm going to read this again before I read The Redhead Revealed by Alice Payne because it's the perfect book to read when I move into my new apartment and I'm hoping <laughs> that my neighbor isn't like Simon. But it is just funny, you know. He's a, Simon's a freelance photographer. Um, photojournalistic photographer, which I love. That's what I used to do in my former life is journalistic photography. And he travels a lot. And she has, you know, an ex-boyfriend that she really isn't into anymore. But he comes back and, you know, Simon gets jealous and all all that stuff. I hope that was a good synopsis. Um, I don't want to ruin anything for you, but if you want a good laugh, I mean, it's a hefty book, but I went through it like that. I mean, it's a quick read and um yeah i'm gonna go into the spoilers because there's some spoilers in here that i just have to say so if you haven't read it turn it off now all right I want to 
Alright, let me just talk about the cat. I want to, hold on, I need to find out the name of this freaking cat because I forgot it. Um, no, 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 Clive. Clive is the name of the cat and oh my god, I have a cat and, but this one was hilarious. Let me just talk about when Simon came over for the first time for dinner, Clive peeing on his jacket. I mean, come on, priceless, priceless cat. Good job. And just the story behind, you know, the cat and everything was just so good. And the the first two, first couple of words in this book, I was at Target and I just picked it up and I'm like, you know what, this book, oh God, thump, oh God, thump, thump, what is it? Oh God, that's so good. I mean, come on. If a book captures you from the first couple words in a book, you know it's good. And... Alice Payne, if you're watching this, really, you had to pick The Exorcist for them to watch. I mean, I was reading that part at 2 o'clock in the morning with my house pitch black. And I didn't sleep at night because of that part of The Exorcist. I mean, really, could have picked a hundred other movies, so you had to pick that one. And, oh my god, Simon, uh, Simon giving Caroline his, his blanket that his mother gave him. Like, oh my god, it was so sweet. And... Uh, the love story, I mean, come on, having a hilarious book like this turn into a love story is just like icing on the cake. It is such a freaking good book, it is so good. And her, um, talking to his fuck buddies, I guess you can say, is just so funny, so you need to go pick this book up. It is freaking hilarious, and the book that's been compared to this, even though I don't think any book can compare it to it, is Tangled by Emma Chase, which I, I don't know, I think the next book, I think that's the next book I'm going to read. So, pick this up if you want a good laugh and just a funny, relaxing, quick read, pick this up. So, that's it. I'll see you later on Sarah Book Talk. Bye!